All right. Let me turn this off. All right. I got to do a sound check, guys. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a happy Friday. I'm just going to do a quick sound check here, make sure I'm uh, broadcasting at full strength. Streaming, sorry, not broadcast, but stream. Hear myself. Hear myself. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Okay. Want to hear all by myself today? partner in crime uh, so I'm gonna go let me just actually adjust this camera a little bit all right guys so today because I don't have uh, uh, my usual partner uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I want to want to take this opportunity to go over uh, some of the tools. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a good opportunity to review. Um, you know, some of the tools you can you have at your disposal, uh, or that you can get uh, fairly easily uh, when you don't have a training partner. And this is uh, seems especially true today. Uh, when we're all stuck at home and most of our academies are closed, I guess depending on where you live. Uh, so, I know a lot of people have some strong opinions about dummies. And, uh, you know, I was a, uh, when I first started off in Jiu Jitsu, I, um, and for a long time, I never really saw much value in dummies because I didn't see, first of all, there, there weren't that many. And what was out there was pretty. Uh, I don't want to say low quality, but it just didn't seem like it had a lot of high utility for the types of drills that we do in jiu-jitsu. And, um, you know, the, the thing that changed my opinion about dummies uh, dramatically was I uh, was training, actually I was teaching at a school uh, a number of years ago, and I, um, I ran into a guy who wrestled in the Olympics, I think 2008, but it could have been 2012. And I saw him training basically by himself one day uh, in, in, in the room or on the mat. And uh, he just had this dummy. And he was just tossing this dummy around, doing back arches and um, different drills with the dummy. Um, and he was in there for a long time. He had a really good workout. And I didn't want to bother him. But at the, at the end of it, I asked him, um, you know, I basically expressed my opinion to him that, you know, I didn't really see a lot of merit, you know, to, to dummies. Uh, but I saw that he had had a great workout and what his opinion was. And he said that he loved dummies and, and for a couple of reasons. You know, the first is, uh, as he put it, you know, the dummy, you can back arch uh, and suplex a dummy as much as you want and the dummy will never complain. You know, most people, even people who know how to take a fall are not gonna wanna take a high volume of falls and throws. Um, and so, you know, what he was saying was that it was hard for him to have, to even find training partners who are willing to drill with him let him get the kind of work in that he wanted to do um, and that he needed to do to, to wrestle at a, at a high level. And, uh, and so he's like, you know, I can back arch a dummy a hundred times if I want or a thousand times and uh, the dummy never gets hurt. I don't have to worry about the dummy putting his arms down wrong or hurting his neck or just getting tired of doing things um, or wanting to turn and taking time away from him. And, uh, you know, and then the second thing was, as he said, it was a great workout. You know, uh, you pick up a dummy, and, and there are dummies now of varying weights, and um, and so you know, regardless of, of whether you want to use the dummy for technical uh, kind of development or drilling, or you want to use a dummy more for um, you know power uh, and a workout, you know, there's there are dummies that are out there. Um, that are really good, really high quality, really useful. And, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of the dummies that I have here 
and uh, that I've been using over the last couple of years. I use them personally. Uh, other people use them. I use them with the kids, especially when I'm trying to teach the kids how to throw in the beginning, and maybe they don't have the greatest technique. And so, you know, they're, they don't want no partners want to go with them. And so, instead of having a, a smaller kid take these falls, I put the kids on the dummy at least in the beginning, so that they can practice the mechanics and understand how the throws work. I uh, do that for stand up mostly. Um, so. Um, I feel a, a kid can really train safely that way. And, and the same goes for adults as well. Um, so I have a couple different dummies. I'm gonna show you the dummies uh, that I really like. Now, most of my dummies come from a, a place called, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say it correctly actually, but souples or souples.com. And uh, I don't know where I first found these dummies. They're primarily designed, if you go to the website, it's mostly designed for like, um, or seems to be designed for, you know, wrestlers and, and Greco, uh, Greco wrestlers specifically. Uh, but I think that they are a tremendous tool for, for anybody, any grappler, really. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ones that I have, and you know, they have different purposes. And you'll, um, the first one that I have is uh, this one. This is actually the first one I, I kind of bought from this website. This is a, this is a leather. Right? It's super high quality, super durable. Um, it's actually smooth, right? So you know, I'll show another dummy to you that has more of a fabric um, kind of feel to it, like almost like a ballistic um, vinyl, you know, like a, almost like a luggage type of thing that you just don't want to, uh, you know, rub your skin on it uh, too much. This one is, is pretty smooth, and so you can drill on this. You can see I put a gi on this so I could you know, practice some different things that are more jujitsu related rather than wrestling. You could use it for both and I'd still use it for both. Um, this one is actually, I'm not sure you can see this, this is a 65 pound or 30 kilo dummy. Uh, this is a good bit shorter than me. I mean, you can see it's probably like six, eight inches shorter than me. I don't know, whatever that is. Maybe that's eight. Um, so it's, um, it, it sounds like 60 pounds is not that much. But in fact, you know, this, when you start trying to throw it uh, from a standing position, uh, that, that's, you feel that 60 pounds because it is dead weight, okay? Um, and it, it is actually a really good workout. If I throw this you know, 10, 20 times, uh, like a Sayonage, uh, any kind of forward throw, um, you know, I feel it. Well, I shouldn't say any kind, but definitely a Sayonage. Um, the... I put a gi on it, you can take the gi off. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is that you can see here there's like a, a harness. And so the, the purpose of the harness, and you can buy this separately, is that there's like a ring in the back. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, and what you do with this ring is you can get like a, um, a carabiner from like a, um, like a climbing store or a, like an outdoor supply store. And you can attach that to like a bungee cord kind of thing. Well, you have to be careful. I would, I would definitely be careful with the bungee cords with the hooks. I wouldn't use those, but you know, you could attach kind of like a, either kind of a really hard, uh, heavy duty rubber tubing, like an exercise band, something that's really gonna be secure that you can tie onto a carabiner or something like that. You hook it onto this, or a rope. You could even do a rope if you really wanted to. And like a, like a thin rope. And you hang it, right? Uh, you could hang it from a, I have a, a pull-up bars here, over here in the corner, and sometimes I'll hang this. And so the benefit of hanging the dummy is that you don't have to support it, right? So you can come in, and if, you, if you're more, you want to do stand-up, you can do more buchikomis, and you don't have to worry about, you know, maintaining the, the uh, you know, keeping the dummy up. I like keeping the dummy up, um, but, you know, again, if you want to do, like, shots, and you don't want to have to keep on picking up the dummy, you can just do shots on it. Uh, maybe in another uh, video I'll show you you know, how I do that and I'll, and I'll hook it up um, to the wall or to the pull up bar rather. So that's what this is there for, okay? So you can get different things. That's also available on souplist.com. Um, and you know, before I go any further, um, you know, the people that know me know this, probably could guess this. Uh, I use these dummies every day. Uh, I, I'm not uh, recommending these dummies uh, because I have any affiliation with souplays. Dot com. I'm getting paid by them. Uh, I don't know them. I don't know anybody there. Um, I like their dummies a lot, and I'm happy to endorse them. 
uh, but I'm not uh, getting paid. And this is just an independent review, if you will, or kind of, um, uh, I guess review is the right word of how I use these. And I think they're great training tools. So having said all that, getting back to the, to the review. Um, so yeah, so you can, you can put dump uh, geese on them. You can see this one, I forget what size gi, this is pretty good. This is a judo gi, huh? Yeah, it's a judo gi. Um, it's a little tight on the, uh, you know, it's hard to get these on because the way the shoulders work. Um, can't really show you the shoulders right now, but it, it can be a little difficult to get on unless you have like a, a bigger gi. So I'm like an E2, this is probably like an E4 gi. Um, so anyway, uh, for standing, you know, like look, you can come in and you can do, you know, all the uchikomis you want, you know, all day long, right? And so, if you just want to use this as a training tool to like work your, um, you know, your uchikomis, you know, you can come in here and you can just, sometimes I just come in and I work here like this, right? If you want to, um, you know, do shots, right? You come in and you come underneath, that was not a good shot. Like a collar tie here, right? I have my glasses on too. So you can kind of like get here, come up, pull them up. I like that drill a lot. I'm just here, kind of imitate a collar tie, maybe an elbow push here, pick them up. Here. And that's like a really good kind of warm up. Um, you know, if you want to throw, sometimes I'll come in, go in, boom. Now these are Nagi Komis. Here, fit. Fit. Right? And you pull them up. And so every time you pick them up, you get a little bit of it. It's like a rep. Um, you know, you get tired really quick. You know, here, step. So I can do Uchi Komis. If you want, you can do size. Pick them up, you know, pick them up, here, pick them up, I'm going up the step, here, I like these sides, right, pick them up, so that's fun, you know what, you can't do, uh, Uchigaris, right? Because the, I mean, you can practice them. You can come in, one, two, right? But you can't really, uh, you can't do the finish on. Um, let me my glasses for a second. I'll show you. Sayos, I really like to do on these. You know, I'll come in. I like to do the, um, the Koga style. So I like to take this grip. I think it actually works better for, uh, for a dummy like this because it's so much shorter, so I have to really bend. So I'll come in here. Come up. I gotta drive back in. Usually I just go up and down the floor. comes off. So sometimes you gotta adjust it. I think maybe this is not usually the key I use, but this one goes on pretty easily. spin. So I like to come in here. And again, this is harder on this dummy than on a real person. But in some ways that's even better. So on this, I like to come in here. Drop. Right? Come in here. 
haven't done arm spins in a while, so bear with me. Here. Gotta drop that shoulder. Boom, that was terrible. All right. You can grab the key if you want. Oh, that kind of stops you from turning. So I like to jump that shoulder. Jab step. Drop to the knees. You can do it from your feet. Lots of little arm spins you can do. Different versions. So you can practice those arm speeds. You probably hear me breathing. You do a bunch of these, you do this for like 10 minutes, you're gonna get a good workout. So, some of the other things you can do, uh, with this dummy in particular, because you see it has legs, I'm gonna show you in a second, there's another one that they don't have legs. So another one that you can do, is you can be in here, right? And you can pull, right? So you can do, here, come to the double, or you can be in here, high crotch, switch, up, run, all right, down, and you can do those all day if you want, all right? So you can just here, you can do Koji's. Um, so you can be here like a collar tie, right? You're here, high crotch, Switch off, get it done. All right? So, that's pretty good. You can pick them up. The other one you can do, you can work on your legs a little bit. Right? You can be in here, right? Here. You can pick them up, right? And put them back down. So, you want to do these crotch lifts. Here. That's just your standing on this guy. Um, now, you know, this is more, I think for this guy, leather, he's heavy. He's one of the heavier models that they have. This is more like power, right? This is developing explosiveness. They have another model, right? Again, 60 kilos doesn't sound that much, but it adds up after you do a bunch of these throws, right? They have another model. This is a smaller version. Uh, it comes big. It comes in the same sizes, more or less. But you see, this one's red. This is not leather. It's more of like a vinyl. Still smooth. Still super high quality. I probably had this one for four years. Um, this one's a lot lighter. This one is. Well, this is a small. You can look it up online, but this is probably like 20 pounds or something. It's really. I mean, super easy to pick up. You know. So you can, even if you get a bigger one, it'd only be like five more pounds. It'd be easy to toss around. So if you wanted to do more um, technical drilling as opposed to power and explosiveness, uh, this would be the one. Or if you want to get it for a kid, because I see a lot of guys, a lot of people, they get their kids a bigger, heavier dummy. And even when the dummy's only 30, 40 pounds, it's still pretty heavy for a kid who's like seven, eight, ten. So these are really good. They're super easy to pick up for a kid. Uh, Again, super durable. This, I mean, I've had it for four or five years. It's been here at the school. It gets used all the time. It gets beat up. Um, and, uh, you know, there's no rips or tears in anything. It's just super solid construction. And again, you can see I put a gee on it. So, um, very useful, okay? Um, I don't have one of these in that size, uh, in, the, in the adult size. But what we do have is, let me move this guy back a little bit. And I think this is more or less what it would look like. So I'm probably, you know, maybe I'll supplement this video at another point. But this is so, this is a, uh, another speed dummy. That's what these are called. Uh, I've had this one probably three, three or four years as well. Again, it's basically uh, 
brand new, right? It, I've had it for a long time, I use it. Um, it gets thrown around a lot. It's basically in the same condition that I, uh, that I took it, I got it out of, the, out, of the, out of the box or whatever, out of the shipping. They come uh, shrink wrapped, okay, in a bag. Um, so this is it, he's pretty light. Let me just take a weight on this guy. He's a medium, I think is the same size as the leather one. And this guy is just super light. So again, you can still do what you these. If this is a little bit easier because it doesn't have legs, so it's easier to balance. So if you want to come in, do your rise, you know, and you really want to just focus. Come in, toes, right? Um, I was doing, what was I doing before? Arm spin, so he's, hot, he's a little bit taller. So if you want to come in, do your arm spins and really um, get more technical work, this is the guy. You're going to be able to do a lot more reps um, and really feel the, uh, you know, I think this is a better for, kind of for me, when I just want to like warm up and, and make sure I'm not getting tired, this is the dummy that I'll grab, okay? You still get a good workout, uh, you're still doing all your mechanics, working on all your mechanics, but you're not going to get uh, tired, okay? So everyone's a little different in terms of like how strong they are or explosive, um, but puts, unless you're going to get like two or three of these, because uh, they do add up, they're about two, 250 a piece, I think. Uh, you know, think about what you really, and be realistic about what you want to get out of the dummy. Um, you know, dragging these around can be a little tiring, so if you don't think you're gonna throw something that's 60 pounds, which does not sound that much, but trust me, people, it, it is a lot, okay? After, you know, you do 10, 20 uh, reps of that, this thing you can throw around forever, and you're not gonna get that tired, just moving up and down. So, whatever it is you can still do, right? I can still come in, right? And then I'm gonna get a bit a better pace. I'm gonna get a better pace. Now I'm moving, I'm gonna send to the to the camera, but you know, usually I would go up and down the you know the map with this. I would stop here. Right? And boom. And so, you know, you might do I used to do when I used to go to judo practice way back when, right? One, two. Right, three, and then you go in two uchis and then a nagekomi. So this guy, super, super good for just doing that technical, working on your mechanics, okay? Um, and then you can still do shots on this, it's just, you know, you're not grabbing the legs, you're not gonna do high crotch because you don't have legs. You can kind of do a double in a way, but uh, not quite as good for that stuff. And you know, the other thing about these guys, I'll show you another kind of drill that my buddy, who uh, you know, kind of turned me on to these. You know, he would just do something super simple where he'd pick it up, you know, here on the side and he'd go like this. So the arm would face out. And then you're doing these squats with like a gut wrench. Here. Right? So those are really good kind of dynamic. If you want to do stuff like that, and then if you want to back arch on it, go and back arch on it. I would recommend if you're just starting off getting a crash pad so you don't hurt yourself. Uh, but these are really good for that. Uh, now, here's the thing. You guys are probably thinking, Rich, I want to do jujitsu. I'm not doing judo. What can I do in terms of drills on the mat? So I'm going to show you guys what I do, and I think this is kind of like what I like to do, you know, when I'm warming up, okay? And so I just do a series of kind of like uh, knee cuts, back steps, um, uh, knee on belly, top spins, things like that. So I'm gonna, I'll do it from a couple different angles. You do this for like, I warm up with this maybe five, 10 minutes. You know, if I think I'm gonna have a hard day training, uh, and I find it just really loosens me up, um, gets my hips going, you know. So, so for this, you know, you can hold on to the, the gi if you want. Eventually, you know, I'll do that. Or you can just kind of start with your hands here. And you'll see I'll start my feet apart, straddle the dummy. I turn my knee, 
And then I'd make sure I'm up on my toes. Here. So I never put my knee, I'm not sliding down. You could do that too. Um, but I just try to go side. If I can avoid my knee touching, that's what I want to do, right? So I'm almost like walking. And it's kind of an approximation of a knee cut. If you want to go down here and practice, you know, walking backward and coming up, no problem. You know, here, walking backwards, coming up, cool. Here, walking backwards, coming up. It's all about here. Here, right, walking backwards. Here. But I just prefer to do this. Let me go a different angle for you guys. And then what I like to do is I add in, and you can hear my breathing, right? I'm a little out of shape in a little bit because of this, but it's really back and forth, back and forth. You get a good workout. So that's when you combine it with the throwing in the beginning, right? So then what I do is I knee cut here, and then I'll knee on belly switch. So it looks like this. Here. Oh, I went to the knee cut. Here. So then I go one, two, three, four, here. Here. like a back step. Here. Knee cut, back step. Knee cut, back step. Knee cut, back step. Right? So, let me go to another angle for you guys. I'll go this way. So here, you gotta, Sometimes it does punch you in the face, you just gotta be careful with that one. Here, knee cut, here, knee on belly, switch, out. Here, one. All right, so. There's that, uh, knee cut, and then what I like to do is go to the knee on belly, and you can just, you're here, you know, you can just practice here, you know, so, your knee cut, back step, knee cut. What I like to do is a top spin, okay? So for the top spin, I'll knee cut, and this one I will put my knee down. I put my knee one, straddle the head, rotate backwards, here. And then we're in the position now to knee cut again, right? Here, one, now you see my knee's really low, so that means I gotta really go all the way around, pivot, here, knee on belly. All right, so the key, if you're gonna do this drill, is try to get your knee kind of near his head. One, that makes it super easy. Two, three. One, two, three, one. So this is really good if kind of your, uh, 
you know, for when you're really training, when the person, like, you're knee cutting and they come into you, right? Now, can't do that because the dummy's not going to move for you, but it would be the same thing here, and then you'd be on the back side. So, you can practice that, it just is a little bit more, it's going to be a slower thing because you're going to have to pull the dummy to you. So, if I go here, one, two, well, it's not too many. I guess you got to get to the waist here. Three, and now that's going to be more realistic because you got to drop my elbow. So, you know, if you want to take the time and go slower, you can. Here. Knee cut. Here. You can pull him. Here. Turn. Back step. Drop that hip. Come in. Collar grip. Right? Boom. So now you have kind of like, uh, you can practice the kind of the choke. Uh, and I found that even though you go a little bit slower, because you can do basically unlimited reps, it's okay. So here, I'm gonna pull that, turn, boom. You see how I'm on my toes? Now, you can go to the collar, right? Or, you know, back control. Here. I'm gonna practice all that, you can start doing that. You know, here. You know, you, what I do is I'm showing you these each individually, but in general, what I do is I go one, two, three, four, here, here. here. Now, if I want to go to the other side, I go to the knee on belly, switch here. Do you know knee cut, knee on belly switch, top spin over the top? Okay, and that's really the core of my workout on the dunk, on the bottom. Okay, there are other things you can do. This is one I think is really awesome. Uh, you know, Kevin likes to do this one. I'll apologize in advance. Uh, I'm not as good at it or as acrobatic, but I'll try to do it for your benefit. And this drill is kind of simulating if you've taken a shot and the person has like a guillotine, so your, your head is inside uh, their armpit. So, you know, you get in here, you try to hold the legs, boom. And then you work your way back. All right, so I think head, so my head would be still kind of here, right in the arms. Right. Come back. Right? And you get a lot of kind of work on your balance. Here. If you want to arch. arch. And so that's imitating. You know, and you see guys like uh, John Combs do this a lot. He shoots in on the double. And then he'll get in a guillotine and he just jumps over, okay? So, if you want to go the other side, here, right? Boom. Here. Go side to side. And then if you want, you can practice coming over, right? Either way. I'll do that one again. Here. So you can go knee cut here, jump, and maybe you feel like you can't turn in. So you'll turn to the head side. Here. Right? And so you work, what's really good about that drill to me, is that you work on that kind of awareness of your body in space. There's a fancy word for it, I think it's kinesthetic sense. 
Don't quote me on that. But, you know, you can put this together, right? You can go knee cut, head down, clear. Back over, right? Stand up, knee cut, top spin. Here, head in the hole, right? Drop over, you know, and you can do the either the arch or you can do the kind of the, I don't know what it would be called, but you kind of straight up and then drop down on your toes. So it looks more like here, like that. You're more in a traditional cross side position. All right, so when I started off, I actually started off doing the hops. And you can go, you know, what I started doing it was just here. I just did that. Here. And then after a while, you get comfortable because you're holding the legs. You can jump over. And again, the nice thing about dummy, you can do this all day. The dummy's never going to complain. Dummy's never going to ask for a turn. Dummy's never going to get hurt. Dummy's always going to show up to practice. Uh, you know, dummy doesn't sleep. He's not cranky. Uh, dummy, I won't say they, they, the dummy can never hurt you. You can hurt yourself with a dummy. You know, if you're trying to lift it too much or in an awkward manner, or if you're doing things you shouldn't be doing with a heavier dummy, then yeah, maybe you hurt yourself. But, uh, you know, your dummy's not going to intentionally injure you or accidentally injure you. You do it to yourself. So, you guys can see, and I'm not in the greatest shape ever right now, but you can see, you know, I'm sweating. I've only been doing this for about 40 minutes, and, you know, I still feel good. Like, I have a good sweat. I feel like I've worked some passing. I've worked some movement. Um, and, you know, there's other drills that, you know, we've worked on, uh, you know, that you, can, that you can work on. There's arm lock drills. There's, you saw a little bit of the choke. You know, you can do a little bit of back take um, with this drill. So even though this dummy is not a jujitsu dummy, you know, if you Google jujitsu dummies, this dummy probably, maybe they've changed their marketing, maybe they've gotten smarter, this dummy may not show up, okay? Because it's like thought of as a wrestling, at least it was when I looked at it. So it's a wrestling dummy. But you guys, I hope you can see how versatile uh, and, and useful that this, this dummy is. You can work your standing, you can work your explosiveness, uh, you can work, you know, if you want to do technical, uh, get a lighter dummy. You know, you can do passing drills on this one. Are you going to do guard drills? Maybe not. You could uh, maybe kind of do some things where you kind of lift them up on your legs and, and what have you, but probably not, okay? You're not going to work a guard, but there's really not that many guard dummies out there that are going to let you uh, work from the bottom. Okay, so again, I really like this. You can do arm, I do, I do arm bars on this one. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll come in, instead of doing a knee cut, like a, a knee switch, knee on belly switch, or right after it, maybe I'll come in and I slide in, right? So you just shoot in for this, this kind of um, armpit uh, uh, arm lock. Or, you know, we've done, you can come in here, and sort of practice, you know, your S mount, arm lock, boom, right, back. I like this one a lot, because it really, you know, I can really, if I do this with a partner, you know, it's, you're so heavy on their chest that they don't want to do it for very long. And with this dummy, you know, I could just sit here all day, I could have a conversation with you, um, you know, and, and, this, and this dummy's not going to get it. Uh, annoyed or tired or anything like that. So you can really start thinking, come back here, slide in, here, up here. And then it's, I like it because, you know, I got, nowadays I have bad hips. This lets me work on my hips, uh, flexibility in my S guard, which I think is really good for me. Um, and if you guys want, you know, you can practice chokes. I'm not going to say this is the greatest dummy to practice chokes, but, you know, maybe if you want to practice here, you can do those, you know. You can practice your choke. Think about this. Here. All right, you can get creative with these. I mean, there's a lot more that you can do with this particular dummy. Uh, but I think this, in terms of an investment, a return on investment, um, I forget how much I paid for him, probably three, 350 
it's five years ago, so don't quote me on these prices. I haven't checked their prices yet. Maybe I'll put a, a card uh, up with their, um, with their uh, to a link to their website uh, so you can check it out yourself. But I think that I've definitely gotten my money out of this dummy and all the other gummies too. Like I said, the little ones are great for kids. They're light, they're really durable. Uh, the speed dummy, the one that doesn't have any legs, awesome, you can throw that around all day, get a pretty good workout. Um, so those are those, those models. And then before I go, I wanted actually one other thing. So I wanna show you one dummy that I, I didn't buy this dummy. Okay, so it's this one. Now this one is a jiu-jitsu dummy. Marked it as a jiu-jitsu dummy. It's put out by, let me see. This is ProBoxingSupplies.com. Uh, I don't, I mean, I've seen this model of dummy a lot of places over the years, and uh, I don't know if this is the manufacturer still, but you know, uh, I'm sure you, you can still buy these. I'm not sure if this is the actual manufacturer anymore. I'll try to look it up and again, I'll drop a card. All right, so again, with this dummy, this is essentially a kind of a, a more specific passing dummy. Uh, again, if you're, can you play guard with this? Yeah, a little bit, um, but I, I find that it's awkward. You know, you can play your guard on and off. Maybe I'll try to do it for you guys. Uh, but what I use this guy for is more of a, um, kind of a, a, either a long stepping uh, practice dummy or um, like a reverse, uh, you know, when you long step and then the person kind of hooks onto your leg and then you take it the other way. I don't know what they call that. Uh, probably like a reverse knee cut or something. Not reverse knee cut. It'll come to me and I'll edit it. So what I do with this one is I really like this one for the long step. You know, you can hold here, hold the gi, you know, the pants, right? And you put your head down and then you long step, right? And then you're up, right? I haven't done these in a while, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty. You know, your knee here, elbow down, you want to stay up on your toes here, right? Here. And now, if you want, right, you can get this is more like De La Hiva, right? So he's got like a De La Hiva hook. You know, if you want to bring it here out, right, you can do that. So this is pretty good if you want to do long steps, All right? So I like that one, and then what I do is I combine it with a switch. So I'll come in here, drop down. I'm not doing a good job. Let me show you. I'll get on that long step. Maybe it's easier this way here. Drop my knee down, and then switch over. I like that. I like that pass a lot. I don't usually do a long step. A full long step. I usually have my leg hooked. So I bring it. And switch. So it's like almost like a fake long step. You know, here push down. Here. Here. Or you can hold the the gi because you know sometimes holding the collar is hard. Hold the gi. Here. Switch. Okay. That will get you tired for sure. That's a pretty good drill. I don't know if that drill alone is justification to buy this dummy. I inherited this dummy, so I use it for that um, mostly. But I don't know what they cost these days, but I don't think that would be, if you're just gonna get a dummy just to do that. And this dummy, because of the legs, they don't really move, unless they've improved that over the years to let them kind of extend his body. This actually is hard to practice knee cuts. But you can do other things, right? Like I can turn him and go over his knees here, and then. But because his legs are in the way, I can't really. Um, I can't switch my knees. Now I could do like these, back and forth, knee on belly, knee cut. You can do those. A little bit awkward because these legs get in your way, but uh, you know. I think the other one, you can't throw this one. So I wouldn't, if you have one of these around, it's not like the end of the world. 
Uh, you can still do drills on it. I would still do drills on it, but you can't draw them. They're actually kind of really heavy too, so they're hard to move around a little bit and awkward. Take up space, and if you leave it in, well, if you leave it in any of these in your garage, and your mother-in-law walks in, you're gonna scare to death. Pro, con, so I'll leave that up to you. Uh, let me see, I'm not sure if I've ever tried to do any guard work on this guy. You can get some guillotines on them, right? Or a loop choke, so you could practice, you could probably practice like the loop choke from the past, if you're a loop choke person, right? Um, Hard. It's hard to get these guys, you know, and if they're so stiff, I don't think you can even do it from the bottom. Um, you can do some triangle, maybe, but again, he's so it's how unstable he is, you know. You could do this, right? Maybe that's some good work. I don't know. Here. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of that kind of work with this guy. Um, so those are, those are the three, kind of four models of dummies that I have. I have the dummies with the legs, the ones the leather, it's a little bit heavier. I got the, um, the vinyl with the legs, that's a lot lighter, called the speed dummy. I've got the, the speed dummy without any legs, and I got this guy. Um, they all serve their purpose, I like drilling with them all, but I think definitely the, the, um, the dummies that have the legs from Suplex are the best. And if I was only going to get one dummy, and I'm probably going to order one of these uh, in a bigger size because this one's too small for me, I would I would get this dummy. In in this is a small. I want to say, yeah, this is a small. I would get the speed dummy with the legs. Uh, because you're gonna get, as I went through all those, all the work I did on the dummy, uh, the big dummy, uh, you can do all the passing drills, you can do all the throws, the technical work. If you throw it fast enough and you push yourself, you're gonna be able to, you can combine them and you're gonna get a good workout. Um, you're just not gonna get that kind of explosiveness because you don't have to um, pick up 60 pounds of dead weight um, and throw it. So this is the one I think that, uh, depending on your size, and they have on their website, they have like suggested uh, sizes for your weight. Uh, so check that out. Uh, pretty easy, they ship really well. I don't know if they have them in stock. They're probably, they might be, I saw the last time I checked, they were kind of gonna be in stock in June, they said end of June. I don't know if they blew out of them because of, uh, you know, everyone's trying to train at home now. These guys are, are really good. I'm gonna order, when I go home today, I'm actually just, I'm selling myself right now. I'm gonna go order one of these guys. Uh, a bigger version. These guys are really, really good, really versatile. Uh, sometimes what I do is I'll throw the dummy and then I'll do, like when I'm warming, like if I'm really like maybe warming up for like a, a competition. Uh, last time the San Jose Open was here, because it was so close, I just came and I warmed up at my school and I just picked up a dummy, nobody was here, it was in the morning and uh, I think it was on Sunday, so there was no one here, we didn't have classes on Sunday, that day anyway. And I picked up the dummy, I threw it around the room for like a half hour, and then I practiced those uh, passing drills, and then I was all warmed up, I was ready to go. So I, I, I'm really pleased with these guys, uh, with these dummies, and I really highly recommend, uh, I, can't, I can't recommend them enough, especially in these days. You just put this in your garage, maybe put down a few mats, you don't even need, you don't really need mats, if you just have like a carpet, you know, something like that, you could probably do it in the grass. You shouldn't be on your knees too much, but you know, it's pretty easy. Go on to dollarmer.com, pick up a, one of those, uh, you know, rollout mats or folding mats. I'm, they sell them on Amazon at this point, so you can go anywhere and get them. Uh, put a gi on it if you want. If you don't, it's up to you. Practice your throws, practice your takedowns, practice your passing, and get a good workout. So I hope this guy, guys, I hope this helps. Um, go out, get yourself a dummy if you haven't trained in a while. And, uh, and get to work, you know? You'll, you'll, it's better than just sitting on your couch, for sure. You know, get some work in. So anyway, have a great weekend, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, let me know. This, this, this dummy's tricked out, he's got a show you roll gi on. You don't have to get uh, the show you roll, you can put any gi on. I just like my, I like my dummies.
Anyway, thanks guys. See you guys uh, next week. Have a great weekend.